all the double colonies went into a went into winter with a completely full 10 frame deep of of uh, honey there was no there was no sugar water i never fed any of the the double colonies this hive is i split this hive from this hive um, the original queen from this hive is in this box and then there's a new queen in that one so this queen in this hive is a 2019 queen so she's in her third season here I can already see like my goodness there's still a pile of honey in here so I don't think I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna dig into that I'd probably be able to get a pretty good idea of how much this weighs Well, needless to say, there is still a ton of feed in there. Wow. And a good population, too. All right, look, at, look at some of the mold on that frame there, just from the moisture that built up. Lots of pollen on that frame. They'll clean all that to all that mold off. Oh, they got tons of pollen in here. Wow. Like this whole frame. Just packed with pollen. Oops. That's a good start. Just dropping frames. It's gonna be rusty for a little while. This is the first time I'm into the bees this year. I don't see any eggs. All the all the cells are primed and ready to go but she's more than likely laying up in that top box. Once I get them all configured in another month or so down to a single, single brood chamber. Some crystallized honey in that top corner. Not much happening on this frame. All this crystallized honey here. Probably goldenrod honey. These seem a lot calmer than the, the little single brood chamber ones, or the little single deep, sorry. More crystallized honey there. No, there's absolutely no lacking of food in this hive with how much is still in that top, top box there. And down in this bottom box too, wow. fed any of these deeps. So, look at that. You can tell that's fall honey because it's all crystallized or crystallizing. Well, these guys are going to have lots and lots of food. They'll actually probably end up running out of space before, uh, before I get them organized down into their single brood chamber setup. I figured I'd bring you back quick here. I was uh, just doing a quick check on this top box when I put it back on, just to see if there was brood, uh, which there is. And I did just see the queen. She's probably bailed out now. Let's see if I can find her here. She's dark, dark, dark. A little bit of green paint on her from when she was marked in 2019. She transitioned over to this side. 
gonna make a liar out of me. But there is, you know, a little bit of brood happening here. Oh, there she is right there. She's buried under a bunch of other bees. So let's just see, right there. Don't know if I'm getting that, but she's trying to hide anyways. I wonder if they ate anything, because this thing weighs a ton. That thing is packed. If I remember correctly, this hive can be a little fiery too, so we'll see. This is gonna be a bit of a nightmare to get these out. They got these things. I suspect the queen will be in the top box on this one as well. Yeah, all honey. All honey. Oh, that guy got me through the glove. Get out of here. Ooh. Kind of hurt. Yeah, this, this frame's got some weight to it as well. All, it's got crystallized honey in it and old queen cup in there. Wow. I don't see any eggs down in any of these cells. But I expect the queen to be in the top box. I mean, this is, even that, that box down there, I mean, these guys have a, I'm gonna throw this lid down that. So I didn't really think of you know, bees out flying with nothing to eat, they're probably, Looking to rob that out. Very cool. Well, she's going to have some room anyways down in this box because so far that's my fourth frame. Okay, look at that. Maybe I should have brought some queen excluders with me because... Uh, Maybe she is down in the bottom box here. She's definitely been down here anyways with all that brood. Oh, there she is right there. Look at that, we're four for four for queens today. Right there on the edge of that frame. Right there, looking for a spot to lay. Oh, she's got brood in here. So this hive is, uh... yeah, wow. Awesome. 
see some more brood here. Looks like some, uh, possibly some drone brood. More brood there. All right, looks like it's gonna be a monster this year. I'm gonna do the same deal here. I'm not even going to pull these apart just yet. Let's see what kind of weight we're dealing with here. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Look at the bees in that eye. Wow. So like I said, that, uh, that was a pretty good queen that they made. All right, I don't even know where to start here. So far as, you know, as far as the doubles go, running them all summer in a single brood chamber format, but leaving a, a full deep box for them, you know, the one that's always above the, the queen excluder all summer or all season, uh, ends up being there. So, you know, that way I'm 100% certain that they're going to have a full deep plus whatever they've got remaining on the the outskirts of this hive, or the outskirts of the hive. Pollen and some good weight. Good weight here. Not much happening there. Not seeing much for eggs or brood just yet. She possibly might be in that upper upper box. I think I could see some brood here. Yep, yeah, got a little bit. A little bit in the top. There's eggs and larvae all throughout this the middle of March and well yeah, two thirds of the way through March I guess I should say and they're rocking. If I remember correctly, this the queen in this hive was golden, golden as well. Very gold. Warm enough that I'm sweating, not warm enough to get the get the wax going here. Bit of brood there. There she is. So it's, she's like a like an amber amber color right there. It's got a green dot on her. I did end up marking her for 2019 for green. Kind of kicking myself. I should have brought some queen excluders, but 